Hi, I'm David with Nomadic RV Living, and I'm taking my first trip in my RV, uh, 1,166 miles journey, and I'll show you where I'm going. I'm going to the Escapers Annual Bash in Lake Havasu, uh, Arizona. So, hope you can join me on the journey. Stay tuned. Well, my first leg of the journey was only four hours. But it's midnight, so I'm tired. I'm staying at a pilot truck stop in Childress, Texas. Uh, I was planning on driving to Amarillo, but it's late. I'm tired. I'm in no hurry. So, uh, anyway, first night in the RV. I'll show you around real quick. Got my bed set up uh, comforter but I'm gonna put a uh, uh, sleeping bag on top of that because it's kind of chilly tonight I'm gonna turn the heater on for a few minutes put all the reflectix up and those curtains I repurposed from my SUV I can still use them for my SUV but the point of those is I can uh, open the windows and get some air when it's not cold. Uh, what else? What else? Um, oh, LED lights. I replace those light bulbs, all the light bulbs with LED lights in the unit. So, anyway, see how my first night goes. Night. Oh, well, good morning. Didn't sleep the greatest, but I uh, got a decent night's sleep. It's cold and it's raining outside, but next step is to go get some coffee. That's very, very important. Start my day. So I'm going to get some coffee and head up towards Amarillo. When I was getting the uh, coffee, they had those uh, Cinnabons. Oh man, smelled good. I really wanted one, but 870 calories. Oh, just couldn't do it. Not right now, not today. Maybe someday I'll have one of those. <laughs> they sure look good.
Well, I'm here in Gallup, New Mexico for a quick stop at Home Depot to buy a, a, gas, a gas can. I uh, almost ran out of gas and that's another story I'll share with you later. But uh, I'm not going to take a chance. So here we go. Onward to Flagstaff. Well, today is uh, Saturday and yesterday I drove uh, 16 and a half hours. Uh, the longest road trip I've ever taken. Drove from um, Childress, Texas to Kingman, Arizona, where I am right now. I have about another, I think, hour or so, maybe an hour and a half drive into Lake Havasu City. Um, uh, spent the night last night at a truck stop here in Kingman and slept well. Um, uh, on my road trip yesterday, I incurred fog, rain, some snow, and a little bit of sun as well. So, got to experience all that. And, uh, you know, one thing about uh, pulling this trailer, and I kind of want to get uh, y'all's uh, input, uh, if you have experience with any type of RV, RVs, is uh, yesterday, uh, the reason why I bought the gas can at Home Depot was I was getting about 11 miles to the gallon in perfect conditions, flat roads, no wind, no headwinds, and I did not anticipate the um, how much impact hills, mountains, and headwinds would be on towing. So I'm driving along between M on I-40 between heading west out of Amarillo towards Albuquerque, and it's kind of hilly and very windy, and I'm just cruising along just fine. Um, thinking I got plenty of gas mileage to Albuquerque was so many miles I got plenty of gas and all of a sudden I look down and I'm on like an eighth of a tank but oh crap so there's a big steep mountain going down into Albuquerque even down a steep mountain with all the headwinds I was giving the gas going down the mountain but just as I got into Albuquerque it turned uh, the reserve on the gas tank light lit up so I had two miles to go so, perfect conditions, I'm 13 miles to the gallon. Not ideal conditions, I'm at 9 miles to the gallon. Which to me is dog crap. But I don't know. Uh, I'd like your opinion if you got a class A, B, or C, a truck camper, uh, a travel trailer, uh, whatever kind of setup. If you have, you know, if you put the comments in, in below, you know, what kind of gas mileage are you getting? What are you driving? Do you have gas, diesel? You know, 13 miles to the gallon, this my SUV is not fuel efficient anyway so I'm not terribly disappointed at 13 miles to the gallon but 9 that's eesh. um it's like because the profile of my SUV is so small this is not a big camper it's only 2100 pounds but because the front of the of the SUV is so small compared to the camper itself it's like pulling a parachute down the road so I'm going to definitely have to consider uh, eventually getting a full-size truck if I want to keep this camper so I'm curious to see you know what kind of gas mileage you're getting so if you could comment below I'd appreciate it so now I'm heading to uh, Lake Havasu for the escapers annual bash
I made it to the uh, Escapers Bash in Lake Havasu City, Arizona. Pan around, kind of show you around a little bit. Not everybody's here yet, but this is the solo section, at least this immediate area. The further section back there, I'm not sure what that is, but this is the solo, people who are single. A lot of different kind of rigs. dogs here if you're a dog lover which I am this is great My dogs checking areas over there showers it's more parking over there I'm not sure what the hill is over there I'm sure we'll find out This is the actual rodeo arena. No, we're not having any rodeos. But. The Lake Havasu City Rodeo Arena. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video, watching it uh, on this journey from Texas to Lake Havasu City, Arizona and uh, on my journey to full-time RVing. It's a transition, and uh, you know, if this is something you want to pursue in your future, keep living the dream. Keep focused on your dream, whatever that is. Even if it's not RVing, whatever your dream is, have a plan, stay focused, and you know, just keep pursuing it you know, uh, every day. So again, thanks for watching. Thanks for supporting my channel, subscribing. If you haven't already done so, please subscribe below, and there's also a bell notification below where you'll be notified of any uploads in the future. So have a great day. Thanks. Mm -hmm.